This is a full tour of Japan's Super Nintendo World. So today we are in Osaka, Japan. I wanted to go and show you this place for such a long time, but it hasn't been open because of the state of emergency and it recently opened. So now I can give you a full tour of this place. But before I start, if you want to see what I'm doing on the daily, check out my Instagram account. If you want to help support the channel, check out the Tokyo merch. And if you have any questions about Japan or your Japan travels, then definitely check out the Discord community. So now let me show you all around Super Mario World. Let's do this. Wow, I've just stepped into Mario's world! Game on! So we just made it through the tunnel and now we're inside the park. One of the first things you want to do is get the power-up bracelet. Now you don't have to get it, but if you do, then you can be a little bit more interactive with this entire park. So let's do that now. So those are the power bracelets just behind me. There's a bunch of different kinds. Let's go choose our favorite one. So I got my power bracelet here, let's open it up! The power up band costs 3200 yen, about $30. Yup, you've gotta pay to play. But with it, I could do all of the power up band key challenges at the park, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Plus, with the band, I could interact with the park items and gather coins just like the real game. Also, if you have Mario related games for your Nintendo Switch, you can connect the band as an amiibo. So now that I got my power bracelet, I can go around and interact with all of the different items here at the park. You can get coins and keys and then at the end, there's actually a challenge so we're gonna be doing that as well. But let's do that later because I want to go check out the main attraction first. So this is the main attraction, Mario Kart Koopa's Challenge. It's awesome because it's a ride and a virtual experience all in one. Let me show you inside and let's do this! Oh scary! Someone give me a superstar! Phew, I made it through. So Mario Kart Koopa's Challenge takes place inside of Bowser's castle. And by the looks of his place, he's getting them royalty checks. Wow, he even has his own private library. At least we know now what he studies on his free time. Wow, look, I got a little Mario cap. How do I look? Before getting into the racing cart, I had to put on a helmet. It later attaches to a VR mask which integrates with the course and allows me to see all of the other racers virtually. As I race through the course, I can launch shells at the other racers and collect coins. Whoever collects the most coins wins. Oh, and here's my ride. So I just finished the ride and I could say that that's one of the highlights of this entire park and definitely worth going to. Oh, there's one over there. Let's go get some more. To collect coins, I simply had to find a question mark box throughout the area or play fun mini games like this slot machine. Again, just like in the real game. Oh no. Oh, I got a red leaf. There's even secret little places where you can get items. Let me show you. So check out this Mario Silver right here. Now, let's go collect some keys. So just behind me is one of the key challenges. If you earn enough keys, then you're gonna get to face Junior Browser at the end. So let's go earn one of the keys now. The Power Band key challenges are located throughout the park. So I just earned the first key. Let's go find some more, cause that was fun. In this key challenge, I need to stop all the alarm clocks before the piranha plant wakes up. I think I'm gonna need to get mushroomed up for this all one. Right, I'm gonna try to do this one all by myself. So I could play this key challenge with up to 4 players, which would for sure lower the difficulty level. But sometimes I like to set the game on hard and see what happens. Oh well, it didn't work out. Yeah, I got another key! So here you can actually check out how your team is doing with your bracelets. Wow, I got 39 out of 170. That's crazy. Let's see how the rankings go. Wow, Mario is in fourth. So depending on which bracelet you get, you get broken up into different teams. Mario, we're in fourth place. Okay. The 
these last two key challenges are inside of the dungeon area. But like the rest of the park, don't forget to collect the coins along the way. What's this right here? I don't even know what this is. So this is our third key, so hopefully I can get this one. These last two challenges I could also play as a team, but for some reason, I think the difficulty setting on my game is stuck. Hold on, let me blow on the cartridge. <laughs> so now I have three of the five keys as required. A little bit hard right now, but we did it. So now I'm gonna go for the final challenge. So this looks like a room of a naughty boy. Let's see what it's gonna be like to go against him for the final challenge. Yes, I made it to the final challenge. Let's see what you got, Bowser Jr. Or should I say, Browser Jr.? Cause I'm gonna use you like my browser all day. Yeah, that didn't work. Yoshi's Adventure is basically a slow ride that allowed me to enjoy the spectacular view of the Mushroom Kingdom while also hunting treasure eggs along the way. This is quite amazing, it's really bringing me back to my childhood. Now if you're a little hungry, then this is the spot to go. Let's go inside. Kino Pio's Cafe is the main restaurant in Super Nintendo World. It's got Bowser's Steak, Yoshi's Carbonara, and even Princess Peach's Cake. Sounds good, but I'm not eating that today. First of all, we got the Mario Cheese Burger. I think Kino Pio, or Toad, made it himself. Oh look, it comes with a little Mario hat right there. You can take this home if you want. You can probably break this off and just wear it as a hat yourself if you wanted to. Or maybe not. <laughs> Here we go. Mmm, it has some flavor to it. I'm a bit surprised. Definitely taste the bacon right there. Like a warm tangy Thousand Island on top. Grilled onions, some mushrooms here, cheese. We have some lettuce. The burger itself is Pretty good. Quite impressed with this burger. I was expecting less just because it is a theme park, but it's a pretty good burger. Oh. This is a good burger. Before I continue on, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor for this video, Boksu. If you don't already know, Boksu provide a gourmet experience of Japanese snacks delivered to your front door. They work with traditional Japanese factories, some over 100 years old, to provide you with awesome, unique snacks. Each monthly box has its own unique theme, so you get brand new snacks each and every time. First time users will get a Seasons of Japan box like this one, and after that, they'll get a theme box. Right when you open up the box, you get this nice booklet that takes you through each snack as well as information about Japan. You get 10 to 25 snacks in your box depending on the package you choose. All handpicked from all over Japan so you get those local Japanese flavors. So save 10% off your own authentic Japanese snack box from Boksu and save up to $47 using my code Paolo10 and link in the description. That all said, let's continue on. Now we got this little mushroom dilio. Look at that. And this is a happy little guy. Look at that. I feel like I'm a scalping this guy. Oh no, I gotta take your head off my little friend. It's like his, I'm taking off his toupee. Oh, there we go. Whoa, has kind of that pizza smell. Just gonna break off a little piece right here. Bun itself, the bun has like a naan texture, like if you ever had Indian curry and they serve it naan. It's almost like that, kind of crispy on the outside and then kind of soft on the, like the inside. What I'm gonna do is just dip my cheese on top of it like that. Wow. Looks like it has some olive oil and it has some pieces of bacon. There's some cheese, potatoes, has some mushrooms as well. I was not expecting it to be this good and it is. So you can see that on the outer shell, it's been kind of baked probably in an oven. Here on the inner side, it's, it was sitting like on top of all of the steamed ingredients. But what's awesome is that it's picked up all of the flavors coming from the bowl like into the bread. So. 
There's just a lot of flavor in this bread. Oh, I'm sorry. So sad without his top. You can put it back. Where is your head? It's back. Sorry, it's upside down. Now do you feel complete? <laughs> Let me show you the next food item. Look at that little question mark. Creamy, dreamy. So you can get different little chocolates. This one came with a little mushroom. Just have a little bite of this cookie right here. This biscuit. It's kind of like those long de shell cookies. Oh, so buttery. Whoa, that is like a block. I feel like I'm, gonna, I'm supposed to eat this with a, like a knife and fork, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna take a big bite. Whoa. Oh, that is that creamy tiramisu. So on the outside, you can see all of this right here is that mascarpone cheese. This is the sponge cake kind of dipped in coffee, giving it that bitterness. So it's kind of like sweetness and bitterness all mixed into one. Then you have kind of like this raspberry part on the side where you can dip it as well. Oh, that's good with the raspberry tart. It's a perfect dessert if you just had a hamburger and pizza. A surprise is no longer a surprise. Oh, and they also have Mario's popcorn buckets. Cool. All right, I got Yoshi snacks. Let's eat this. Whew. So I am just super thirsty. Look at this. We have a mango lassi. Pretty dope. That's sweet and sour at the same time. The mangoes are sweet. The whipped cream is frothy. The lassi is the lassi. I'm so thirsty I just drank this whole thing. And then we got this yakisoba roll. And look at the green goodness right there. It looks like a proper shell. I feel like I could throw this. Woo! Oh, it's nice and warm. That has all the yakisoba goodness. Nice, crunchy shell, literally. Texture is quite interesting. You got, you know, the hard shell, kind of like a medan pun, but it's not like as sweet. It's more of like a savory side. And then you have the, the gooey yakisoba in the middle. All of that cheese also sticking to it, which you usually don't get in yakisoba. But to be honest with you, I like the burger a lot better. Oh, and if you're feeling for some sweet pancake lovin', check out Mario's Cafe on Hollywood Boulevard, which is outside of Super Nintendo World. So check this out, I got Mario's pancake. You have some strawberries on the outside. I think this is mint right there. The strawberry also has kind of like glazed sugar. It's pretty good. Oh wow, look, I didn't even notice at first, but it has these stars. Detailed a sandwich. And it even has a little chocolate, probably white chocolate. It says, Who's Cap? Mario's Cap, of course. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna eat the Who's Cap and everything all at once. Mm. This is a pretty good sandwich, and I think it has strawberry jam in the middle, and I think like a custard. This is a, such a rich sandwich. The pancake itself is a little bit on kind of like the more dense side. I thought it was going to be kind of like a fluffy pancake, but it's not. I also love how they have the bakery open so that you can see them making these fresh pancake sandwiches. Now, it's time to shop for souvenirs. You can get dope Super Mario merch at two locations in Super Nintendo World and a few shops outside in USJ. The main shop inside is a one-up factory. Let me just take you around. So many snacks, pretty cool. I can get these for Wolfie. Cool, right? Just look at all of this stuff. Look, they even have Mario underwear. Also, to the side of Bowser's Castle, there's a Mario Kart theme shop, Mario Motors, cleverly located just when you finish the ride. Here's one big store for Mario merchandise outside in USJ. Let's take a look around. Wow, they even sell instant risotto with super mushrooms. Wow, and look at these super duper cool snacks. That is a pretty cool container. Wow, they even have a Super Mario World watch right here. You have to see the staff to get it. So that's a full tour of Super Mario World here in Japan. I hope you liked this video. If you did, pop me out and hit that like button. And if you guys want to see more videos about Japan or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.